my emergency log keeps dropping off these roads are horrible they are so corrugated if you see I think you can kind of see they shake the car up they shake up the trailer they're shaking my log off we were meant to be meeting a couple who were going out here with us we're about 60 k's out on this sort of road I'm sure we're crazy this doesn't seem right it's going to be beautiful at the end here man it better be no signs of anyone just signs up telling us to be careful be crocodile be crocodile safe right onwards they caught up with us eventually anthony and some other simone we're gonna go ahead of the way and then if we need to lower the tires more oh, then, oh, oh. then club in and i'll just do my tires and we can meet up in a couple of minutes all right anthony's just letting my tires down a little bit he reckons we should go a little bit softer so we've gone from 35 down to 25 and we're going to keep rolling how on earth we pick this stretch i mean look there's no one out here you can't get any speed up the road is so so heavily potted and so so heavily corrugated Trying to beat them, trying to keep ahead oh, of them. Well. Coming up behind us, I don't know if you can see. He wants to know, he wants to get some feedback whether or not letting some pressure out of my tyres has made the drive easier. I say it's easier, but it's not that great. Here they come. <laughs> There's the guy. I've got two teeth left. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a bit smoother? It is a bit smoother, but... Um, you go down a bit more? No, no, it'll be all right. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. You seem to be getting along okay. We were going okay, we were doing all right, and then that, that, that bit of gravel, yeah. that bit of gravel there was nearly knocked my teeth out, I thought. Yeah. Uh, was that, does that, you don't feel that so much, no? Oh, no, we do, we just sing louder. <laughs> yeah. So, off they go rumbling ahead they're a lovely couple we just met them um they've got a youtube channel called the the meanderers and it's m-e-e-h-a-n-d-e-r-s d-e-r-e-r-s d-e-r-d-r-s so mehan is their surname and they're meanderers um we are meanderers so check them out they've been traveling for two years with three children lovely children lovely couple and uh, they've really only just well i'll be honest they only just set up their youtube channel with the help of us and uh, i'd love it if you go across and share a bit of love and follow them because if we can encourage them to share their adventure uh, i think uh, you'll find it very very interesting michelle and i do because we had we traveled with three children at similar ages to them for quite some time uh, for, for many years and uh it's nice to see the difference between how we did it uh, several years back and how how couples are doing it today we've been convinced to come out this way and this is the last of the stops on this road i mean we, we could have gone to any one of them but we've decided to go to the very very end one because anthony and simone assure me it's stunning and they've not been there before <laughs> Oh, where's the dog gone? Oh, it's there. <laughs> Our little dog that travels. This little dog here, this is, well, I'll stop here. This is milk chocolate. He has traveled with us since 2001. Yep. He sits in the car. If we have a car, he sits on the dashboard. Yeah, except for when it's this rough, then he falls off. Then he falls off. He comes and sits in my lap. And uh, 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 this um, little dog has been Oh, hundreds of thousands of miles. If you don't have a car, it just goes in the suitcase. Thousands, hundreds of countries, not thousands of countries, but hundreds of countries. And yes, he's not, I know he's not a real dog. So he's cheap to feed, doesn't bark, no problem. Doesn't need walks. <laughs> now, this is tricky because this is soft sand. We're not four wheel drive. Our friends have gone ahead of us now. We're sliding all over the place and this is deep deep soft sand 
we've got a domestic trailer and I'm hoping we're gonna be okay because if it gets much worse than this we could be lost <sighs> hundreds of kilometers away I was gonna say from civilization but I'll broom <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try the other side of the road to practice my vibrato. I could do a whole vlog in vibrato. Oh, it's not for the faint hearted. So we got out. Luckily, Anthony had a, a buddy here. Mine, Anthony, would have pulled us out, but uh, nice and easy. So, after much adventure and a change of shirt, we've arrived. We found a spot. It's on a beach. The ground is nice and compact here it's all sort of I don't know if you can see here it's like red dirt it's really beautiful but down here down here it's all sand and out there we'll try and get some film of it there's whales there's a lot of whales out here there's at least three maybe four you see the, the jet of water come up, Let's turn away from the sun. So you see a, a, a spurt of water come up, the whales are behind us. The men are back. Nice and close. Millie! Hello. Start the fire please. Simone from the Meanderers. Meanderers. <laughs> Don't kill me. Look at that sunset. No, How many whales have we seen we out there? Anthony? Half a dozen. Half a dozen whales. Hundred meters off the beach. Everywhere. Tomorrow, Anthony's going to get some fish. I'm hoping. Imagine no possession. You want a revolution? Is a pleasure. Sun and